Hey hi everyone this is admin from admin365 and today we are going to talk about how to perform hard match in office 365 so let's get started so i have all the steps mentioned uh, in the notepad here and we will discuss them one by one So to begin with, hard match is the step which we use uh, when we have a user on the on-premise and the same user is on the cloud and we want to bind the two user account together so that the changes made on the on-premises user thinks to that user on the cloud. So for example, uh, you have user A user a at domain.com on the on-premises on the local ad and uh, you have user a at domain.com on the cloud as well so now you wish to have both of them connected so that any changes you made for user a at domain.com on the on-premises get syncs to the cloud. It only works when you have ED connect which is dir sync. Uh, I don't have the server here uh, to perform the steps but as you can see it on, on the screen itself it is pretty simple. So uh, You just have to go to the server where you have the AD, the local active directory and uh, you just have to open the command prompt run it as an administrator and then uh, run this command which is exactly uh, the same which you see on the screen uh, you can uh, take a note of it and then perform it in the cmd which is run as an administrator once you run that command it will export a file with the name export.txt as you can see here you just have to locate the file in the downloads of the server downloads folder of the server and it basically exports the user principal name and the immutable IDs. Uh, these IDs are what we are looking for. So uh, all the users on the local active directory has immutable IDs stamped on them, which is unique for every object on the local active directory. So uh, once we get this, uh, we will stamp this uh, immutable ID to the account which is on the cloud so that it creates a link between them so uh, coming back to the step the output uh, will look like something uh, which you can see here you will have multiple entries depending on the objects in the AD uh, once you get the output uh, you can simply uh, do a control F and as you can see uh, you can search for the user principal name and once you have the user principal name uh, you will see the object GUID. So uh, immutable ID is also referred to as object GUID and uh, the way to recognize it uh, you will see two equal to signs at the end. So if you see this under object ID this is what we need. So once you have this for the affected user uh, you can just copy that and so once we have made a note of it uh, we just have to stamp it on the office user. For that you will have to open a PowerShell run it as an administrator and once we run it as an administrator you have to connect it to office 365 admin center and um, and once you are connected to admin center you have to run this command which is set msol user user principal name and uh, this user principal name would be the user principal name of the user on the cloud That is office 365 so uh, you just have to replace this with the user principal name and a uh, hyphen immutable grid or immutable id and then you have to paste this which we ex which we copied from the first step so this is referring uh, to the object on the ad that is the user in the ad and uh, this corresponds to the user in the cloud and with this set command 
basically stamps the immutable ID to the Office 365 user. And as you can see here, the user at domain.com is the UPN of the user who is in cloud to which we want to sync the on-premise user to. And once you have done that, uh, once you have run the command, uh, you just have to force the sync. Uh, you can run the command which is start hyphen ad sync sync cycle policy type initial or delta. Once you run that, any changes uh, you make on the user on the on premise will reflect to the user on the cloud. So, do let me know, guys, if you have any question. I think it is a little complicated, but if you have any question, feel free to enter it in the comment section. I will reply to it as well. And you have a nice day.